what uh, I am beginning to appreciate, and I'm sure many others are as well, is that when it comes down to America, it reads and stands and is represented as whites first and then America. In other words, if whites can't be first, then as far as they're concerned, there will not be an America as the Republican Party has indicated over the past ooh, ooh, at least 10 years. <laughs> I know it goes much further than that, but without arguing, I want to say the last 10 years. I know when, uh, when Obama, a black man, a man of color who was president of the United States. The Republicans did everything they could to prevent him from achieving any merit for the nation. And during Donald Trump's term, he's done everything he possibly could to make sure that America was maintained as white supremacy. That's what make America great symbolizes. And in case people didn't get it, he is still out of office when people who have tried the same things in other countries were put in jail as soon as as soon as the decision was made that this is what they were trying to do. Put them in jail right away. Uh, see, they got problems too, but they don't have a race problem like that. They don't hate their cut. They lost democracy before I've heard. And just having democracy and losing it and having it to remind you what it's like. They weren't going for that. And so they put these people right back in jail. All right, in jail. Well, in America, it's just always been white people getting away with anything they want to. Not all white people now. Because some white people treat it just almost like black people. I'm talking about the people with money, the power structure. But I don't just blame them. How much you know I don't? Yeah, they took the first step. That was just the first step, but it took the second step to legitimize it. And that was for the people to accept it by either supporting it or shutting up. It always takes those for any evil to progress. Any evil to progress. And those who are against that evil are known by what they are doing publicly about it. Now in America, you talk about a God that's so powerful and so great. Well, it appears to me that that God that you're talking about is not powerful and great enough to get rid of white supremacy. <clears throat> so it makes it seem almost as if white supremacy is controlled by God. Now, I know that's ludicrous, but if the outcome fits that mold, you might not say it. Some things you don't have to say. It's just understood. I'm going to thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, Eddie Marcus.